everyone, welcome to my new video. So today we're going to make some vegetarian ragu. Finding the right recipe to make ragu was essential because lasagna is my favorite dish and it needs to have some really good ragu. So when I was a meat eater, I thought I could never take out meat out of my diet just because I love the ragu so, so much that I couldn't go without. But after finding this vegetarian ragu recipe, it satisfies me 100%. So without any further ado, let's begin. I start by chopping the carrots. To get some small cubes, you could use a mixer to speed up the process, but I show you how I do it by hand. I cut the carrot lengthwise and then I cut the slices in half. So I obtained some thin and long strips that I chopped into cubes. If there are some bigger pieces, I pass with the knife again, just like this. In a tall and big pot, I add one or two tablespoons of olive oil and I add in the carrots. Similarly, I chop three or four sticks of fresh celery. I don't throw away the leafy part of it because I will use it later on. So again, first lengthwise and then into pieces. I put the celery in the pot and now I chop up an onion and some garlic to complete my sofrito, which means the slightly fried up classic veggies, onion, carrot and celery used as a base for the preparation of numerous dishes. I don't know if there is an actual translation for sofrito. Let me know in the comments below if you know it. With the burner on, I slightly fry up the veggies for about five minutes at low to medium heat. Meanwhile, in a separate pot, I prepare a quick broth with about one liter of water, the leafy part of the celery, a piece of onion and a quarter of carrots, and also I add some bay leaves and rosemary. I let them boil for 10 minutes. Making the broth is optional, you can totally substitute it with water, but to enhance the flavor even more, I like to prepare it too. I also cut up two big zucchini. To make it easier, I first cut them in three parts and then I chop them in cubes about this size. Same thing for the eggplant. I want some slightly bigger cubes for the zucchini and the eggplants compared to the veggies used in the sofrito. I throw them in the pot with the rest and I add two teaspoons of salt which will help the veggies release some moisture. I cook everything for just over five minutes and then I add the tomato sauce. I use mutti sauce which is my favorite store-bought sauce or you can make it at home. I shared the recipe in a previous video that I'll link down below. I add a teaspoon of salt and I mix everything in. Now probably the broth will be ready, so I take out the vegetables and I scoop up half a cup that I pour in the tomato sauce bottle to clean it out by shaking it a bit and I add it in the mixture. I also add a quarter cup of red wine which will add a delicious flavor to the ragu. And to take away a bit of the acidity of the sauce, I suggest to throw in a teaspoon of sugar. I cook everything for 20 minutes, stirring really often, otherwise you risk that it sticks at the bottom of the pan. And when I see that the meatless meat sauce is getting too dry out, then I add in gradually some more of the broth. In total, I added around two cups of broth. It's always good to taste the ragu to see if it needs to cook a little bit more or to adjust for salt or sugar. At the end of the 20 minutes, turn off the heat and add some black pepper to your taste and some fresh basil. Give it one last mix and the ragu is ready. This is the consistency you want to aim at. It's so delicious and it's perfect to make lasagne. Stay tuned for the recipe of the lasagne coming up soon on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new weekly videos. Also, if you like to grab your copy of the recipe, click the link down in the description. Bye bye.